What's up mga kabayan? Welcome to Palakasan TV Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga bagong videos tulad nito Wagi ang Filipino slugger na si Janriel Casimero sa katatapos labang na laban kontra kay Solani Tete ng South Africa. Sa pagkapanalong ang ito ay nakuha ng ating boksingero ang WBO Bantamweight Championship belt. Ating balikaan ang round 3 kung saan na knockout ni Casimero si Tete ng tatlong beses bago itigil ang laban at itanghal siyang bagong kampiyon. But he's not been in the ring competitively since October last year. In that time, Casimero has had three knockout victories. His last four wins have all come by stoppage. He is a banger and he is most definitely here thinking and believing that he can defeat this brilliant South African. But that might never be broken. <laughs> One of life's mysteries, John. He wants the brilliant Japanese fighter, no, yeah, Inui, who beat Nanito Donaire in that terrific fight, what was it, three weeks ago? Oh, great. He kind of just does enough. We commentated oh, on sure. a fight over in Yekaterinburg last year. It was that fight last October. Yeah. And that was that, well, fairly quiet opening round. Bell just... Second down, round two. Again, Casemiro got too much experience just to rush in because he knows he Which this is a little bit at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, and again, Casemiro's trying to trying to attack, but... Oh. Sure. Title fight at Zelani Tete, the taller man. That's where he goes in and it looks as though there's a clash of heads there. No, I think it's a good... Well, oh, it is actually. Yeah, I thought it was a good... Last uh, October. Well, he, well, obviously, oh, that's better there for Casemiro. All the fight with the longer reach. I, I want to keep it long. you got to make... you got to try and bring it to me. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's given hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was I'm on the sure. chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimero take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete, I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not recovered from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zelani Tete stopped by John Real Casimero of the Philippines, and the big South African favourite suffers a defeat which was simply not expected, no way. Well, we're sat here just praising Tete up. And all of a sudden, Casimiro comes in with a short hook, hits, uh, sort of turns the body, hits, hit, hits Tete sort of flush on the chin, squared up. So he waits for you to make the mistake, waits for you to engage, but we didn't know, we weren't giving Casimiro enough credit for all. He's badly stunned by this. You know, see, now here, nothing's happening. Now all of a sudden, look, he doubles up really quick, but the first one well, did all the damage, and he was gone. Well, anyway, you, see, you can't see it there by the referee, but... But it was a great shot. He just he stepped around and the left foot's gone out, outside of the right foot of the south ball. Oh, right, right on the hand. temple. Right on the temple. Right short little right hook right on the temple. And he does it again, doubles it up again, but the first one did all the damage. It jumps in with a body shot, which I initially I thought was what had done it. And then he lands with two right hands to the home really, as the opponent. No one really thought he would win. No no one forget, people forgot that he was a two-eight world champion. No one could thought he could win. And he, he what a sensational victory for him. And it's good. I wonder if he knows we're talking about him. And there's the moment which makes boxing special. 
Congratulations from Tete to the new champion. We didn't really see that one coming. And here now is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, waves it off. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout and new WBO Phantomweight Champion of the World, John Riel Cuadro Alas Casimeno. To say he is happy would be a significant understatement. He is utterly delighted.